All right, hey everybody, it is Sunday. I haven't been talking much, so I probably sound like Ja Rule to you right now. Please just deal with it. I don't need to clown it. Um, so I'm just working on tightening this piece up. Getting it smoothed out. I feel like it's just about time to go ahead and um, apply water to it for smoothing. I'm probably going to do that. All right, I'm really happy with the way the um, putting the grooves into the face worked out. It's what I envisioned um, when the idea came to me. And it looks like I needed it to look and wanted it to look. So that's always dope. Cleaning up that has to be done. 
that still can't really happen exactly the way I want it to because the clay is still pretty soft, but I'm going to be leaving this out. Now, the great thing is because I took it off of the turntable, I can go ahead and move it off to the side, be able to clean up the table, come back to it when I'm ready, and still have a good amount of real estate for actual work, you know? So just grabbing these crumples off so those can go into the plate to make more slip later, which one jar is almost gone, but I do have another jar, so I don't feel pressed to make it right away. But I don't know, this, this other jar might be in sad, sad, sad shape. You know, all of it's stinky, but all of it isn't always moldy. But no, this, this looks to be in real good shape, so I don't, whew, looks fumes. I don't have to make another one for a while. So that's good. So I can go ahead and clean off this table. One of the things that I said I needed to do was make more beads, um, hand rolled beads, because I need to make them with larger holes for the jewelry um, leather string to go into so that I can lace them different ways. And I didn't know better, so I didn't allow myself um, the whole size that I needed. But now I do know better, so I can go ahead and make that happen with these. So I have like this little bag of clay that I can just wedge and use those to roll up. Um, today is an Insecure reruns day, so I've got Issa and Molly and Lawrence and them on the um, screen behind me. And once I wedge this clay, I'll just go ahead and make um, make my hand roll beads. While I'm watching TV, that'll be an off-camera event because that's not anything particularly interesting for you to see. So I'm moving her back right now just because I want to take a few photos at this stage uh, before it gets to the final, final cleanup. All right, I'm done. So we're clocking out at 22 minutes. And um, that's it. Most of my weekend got eaten up for having to work from 5 to 10.30. Just threw off my schedule. So I'm not the most motivated, but I am glad that I got up and I'm still getting things done. So that counts, you know? Sometimes you just got to push past and make it happen. So yeah, 22 minutes, 34 seconds. And I will catch y'all on the flip side. Um, and what's going to happen in the next video is flipping her over onto the towel and starting from a midway point right around in here somewhere. I'm going to start hollowing out and make an area for a nail, you know, this to be hung onto a nail. So that's what we've got. And I'll catch you on the flip side. All right, y'all. So it is time now to hollow out and make the area for the nail for this wall plaque. So I have to scooch her over. You can see that the underside of the clay is still a little bit moist because it left a, an area on the table. So I'm making this sort of like pocket area for her face because I've got to pick her up, slide her off the table, flip her over. And this is where I start cleaning up the back.
Okay, my video just got interrupted because the Walmart delivery person is somehow doing the most. So anyway, I'm back and I'm hollowing out the Gale Goddess. Okay, so that is the Gale Goddess now hollowed out. And this, I need to pick this up a little bit. Hold on. So anyway, this is what she looks like. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I'm going to do one last thing here on camera with you guys. And that is taking the brush and the water and clearing all that off making it a lot neater. As you can see, this is all the clay that came out and got hollowed out. So I am going to um, gather this up and wet it and put it in the bag with the other moist clay so that I can wedge that all together. I took a nice long nap, so I never did make any of the beads. So that needs to happen because at some point the studio is going to call me and tell me to pick up. And that's like uh, one of the last things that is going to be in the Element of Surprise online art sale in October that I want to be waiting on um, actually for that. Everything else should be part of the inventory. And if there's stuff that ends up being ready by that time, then lovely, but I don't want to be working up to the minute and not knowing if something will be available or if it won't, you know, because Element of, art, Element of Surprise Online Art Sale is going to be held every other month. So there'll be plenty of time to watch the progress on the pieces that you're falling in love with and plan to um, purchase them at a very attractive price, a price that's only going to be available to you on the Element of Surprise online art sale when these pieces are completed and premiered. And if they're not purchased then, 
on the EOS online art sale, then they're just going to go onto the site at their regular price and you can cop them another time at a higher price when it's going to be better for you, okay? So that's how that works. So just clearing off the table because I'm just going to spray directly onto her. I need to drop this down. My cat is crying and I don't know why. All he has to do is go to the boy. I don't know, I guess he wants to play or something. Whoever knows, I can't tell. And I don't worry about it either. Learn how to speak English is what I say. All right, so we're gonna call it at 26 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and let her sit out, air dry just a little bit. I've just tried to wipe some of the excess moisture from off the table and off the sides. And, um, you know, I'll go back in, probably do just a little bit of tightening up in some areas, like right here, right now. I can see where the eye is getting sloppy. So I'm just going in with a brush and fixing that. All right, we're done for now.